All right, so yeah, I'm recording. Um, so I'll, this video is very uh, basic, but you know, I think a lot of people need to go back to the basics in order to do mental math. And that's, that's what I wanna help people do is get better at doing math in their head, which seems to be a lost thing. Like so many people, so many adults, including myself, like a few years ago, uh, couldn't do the math in their head. Uh, I'm, when I'm talking about math, I'm talking about multiplication. Can do multiplication in their head. Um, so if you want to be able to get good at multiplication in your head, <laughs> here's some things you should do. So first off, you should get good at the multiplication table. Um, you should know what, to be able to do the multiplication table from 1 to 11. Uh, that's all you really need to know. I, you know, higher than that, uh, you don't really need to know. Um, not really necessary. Um, because if so, you want you can go to this website, mathmammoth.com, and then um, they have a multiplication table thing here, and you can just go through the answers. You know, answer. Oh, I meant to put 16 there. <laughs> I know the answer is 16. I promise you. Uh, and then you know you get good at that. Uh, so, and then there's the, you know, the place values or the number values, whatever you want to call it. And, you know, most people just use this for like decimal points and you know, the tenths, hundredth, thousandths place. Right. Um, but understand, you know, how that works. Right. So for example, if I take the number like one twenty four. That's broken up into th like three different numbers, actually. It's broken up into the number four, the number 20, and the number 100, right? So think of this as three different numbers. That's how I want you to think of numbers now. Uh, and then when you add all these three different numbers together, you get this number, right? So, yeah, um, that's how you should be thinking of numbers, you know, for this method I'm trying to like show you um and then there's the um i don't even know what it's called i don't know the name of this i just know this is what people do so when you're like doing typical um like multiplication you know this is what you learned to do you know six times five is 30 and you do one of these and you bring over the three and you do five times three 15 plus you know that and you do one of those. Well, you learn that, but you never really learned why that works. And I'm kind of showing you how that, you know, how that works. Um, but that method isn't good to be doing in your head because you probably will get lost trying to carry over the one and, you know, trying to keep, keep track of, oh, the, the one was over this number and the two was over this number. And keep a track of that in your head is not uh, all that easy. Um, so that is not a good approach to trying to do that in your head. Um, but you also have to know the distributive property. Um, so which states that, you know, if you have the number, you have A times C plus A or A, let's do A times B plus a times C, it's the same thing as A times B plus C, right? This is, these are the same, right? So be aware of that. Uh -huh. So yeah, we're, I, don't, I think, yeah. So now let's kind of like, break this down now. So we know our multiplication table. We understand the tenths place, how it works. Uh, we understand this distributive property. Now, how are we going to do the mental math from here? Uh, so if you want to multiply bigger numbers, 128, let's do times, I don't know, five, right? You can do this in your head. Believe me, you can. <laughs> um, you don't need to do this, you know, this thing times five is 40, you know, that thing that you learned in school, you can do this in your head. It's not that hard. 
I promise you. So what we can do is we can do eight times five. We know that's 40, right? And then we can do five times two. And we notice that this two, what place is it in? It's so, okay, wait, we did eight times five first. We got 40. We see that the eight is in what place? The one's place. So we don't add any zeros. We do five times two, that's 20. But we see that it's in the tens place, so we add a zero. So that becomes 200, right? And then we do five times one, which is five, but it's in the hundreds place, so we add two zeros. Now, what do we do after this? We add all these numbers together. What do we get? 740. And to confirm that that's the answer, I can do 128 times five. Oh. What did, oh, I did five times, five times two, 15. What am I doing, bro? <laughs> <laughs> five times two is 10. Why did I do 20? I swear. Yeah, five times two is not 20. It is in fact 10. Yeah, so now we get 640, right? And I'm not gonna edit these uh, these weird things I have you know, these weird, uh, um, you know, errors I have because I want to show that we're all human and we all make stupid mistakes. So I made a stupid mistake there. I said five times two is 20. I know it's not, but I did that. And I want to show that you're not stupid if you make a mistake like that. So, so yeah. So yeah, that's 640. That's how you can think of, um, multiplying larger numbers together. Now there does get to a point where it's like, kind of like too big and it's it kind of like it's hard to do it in your head after a while but thinking of it this way you know makes it a little simpler um so yeah hopefully that helps you do mental math a little better uh i'll do another one instead of just uh three digit number by two digit number let's do um a little more complicated let's do a three digit number by a two digit number I won't make the numbers that complicated. 120 by uh, 15. <laughs> you can do this in your head as well. <laughs> I promise you. Um, so because these numbers aren't, you know, they're pretty easy to work with. Um, I could actually just do 15 times two, right? I know that's 30 and then, you know, it's in the tenths place. So I add you know, I make do 300 and I would be doing this in my head. I'm just showing you what would happen in my head. So this would be 300 and 15 times one is 15. Add the two zeros because it's in the hundreds place. 1500. And what do we get? 1800. Right? Ah, 1800. When you add the two numbers together. So let's check our answer 120 times 15 1800 there you go all right so yeah i hope this helps you do mental math